Hey y'all, and welcome! Today I'm going to be doing the emoji challenge slash tag thing. Troy Savon is the one that originally created it, so I'm going to link the original video below, as well as Melissa Mabe's video, because she is the one that tagged me, and she tagged me like a month ago, so this is a little bit overdue, but here I am. But basically for this emoji challenge, you're supposed to pick the top five emojis that describe you best. You see, I'm kind of an overthinker, so I'm gonna try to keep it to five, but I might go over just warning you. So the first emoji that I'm gonna pick is the heart eyes emoji because it's freaking cute. And aside from that, I'm also a hopeless romantic. I'm just totally in love with the idea of love. I love romantic movies and all the cuteness. But also aside from that, the heart eyes emoji is a reminder to me to look at people with eyes of love. Not sure if that makes sense to you, but to me, looking at people with eyes of love means seeing past their flaws and not being too quick to judge them, but seeing them with an eye of love. That's what love does. Love sees past mistakes and flaws and all that icky stuff. The second emoji is always in my recently used emojis and it's this little smiley face, but it's like the best smiley face to me. I chose this one because I like to think that I'm a genuinely joyful person and also it's kind of bashful, which I can be shy sometimes, so it just reminds me of me and it's cute. Look at it. The third emoji I'm gonna pick is the Colombian flag. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I'm Colombian. Technically only half Colombian, but I identify with that side of my family more. That's the side of my family that raised me and taught me everything that I know now, and my family's all there, so Colombia is very dear to me, and so that's my third emoji. My fourth emoji is the thought bubbles because I'm a very deep thinker, and I'm also, as I said before, an overthinker. My thoughts are kind of a part of who who I am and I'm a creative person and a lot of my thoughts are where my creativity comes from if that makes any sense at all I don't know my fifth emoji is the lipstick emoji because not only am I a girly girl and I love makeup but I'm also a makeup artist and that's another creative outlet for me and for my sixth emoji I warned y'all I was gonna go over because I can't narrow it down to five and my emojis aren't in any particular order, but for my sixth emoji, I pick the airplane emoji because I love travel. I love to travel and explore, just discover new things, you know, meet new people, discover new places, and plus hotel rooms are kind of the bomb. I love hotel beds, and especially when the hotels have free Wi-Fi that is fast. Can I get an amen? And there's just something about traveling that enables you to learn more about yourself and it kind of opens your mind a little bit more to the world around you and to different cultures and to different ways of thinking. And most of my personal growth has come from traveling. There are probably a few more emojis that I can think of that describe me well, but I'm not gonna go there because I've already done six emojis and you're only supposed to do five, so I failed the emoji challenge. There are my top six emojis that describe me. I tag Callista, Adorian Deck, Tara Wood, Sam Walter, and Kate Mulligan. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite emojis are or your most recently used emojis. Also, if you're new here, hello, my name is Michelle and it's nice to meet you. You should click that little subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and that's a good way to let me know that you like this video. All right, well, that's my time. Stay classy and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! There's this person I know that it's just saying emoji, they say emoji con. Like, I know what an emoticon is, and like that was like, the old word for it, but now they're called emojis. But he combines emoji and emoticon, and he calls them emoji cons. True story. Okay, bye.